All right, so in priority queue demo, let's model a simple um, like to-do list. Now there's another class here that I've already written for us just in the interest of time. It's called work order. This work order class implements the comparable interface. That's great. Um, and it has a priority, which it models as an integer, and it has a description, which it models as a string. One thing I want to clarify with a priority queue, when you add stuff to a priority queue, it's not like you add a priority and the value. It's not like a map. You add one thing, you add the element, and that element encapsulates the priority in some way through this comparable interface. So we're going to make new work orders, and we're going to add a work order object to our priority queue. The work order object itself has a priority and a description. All right, and it's got like a constructor and a two-string method, and really importantly, a compare to method that only looks at the priority to determine um, which one comes before the other. Okay, so let's see this in action. All right, so we are going to, it's still a queue, so we're still gonna use the queue interface. So we're still gonna have a queue, but now we're not gonna have a queue of strings. We're gonna have a queue of work orders. I'm gonna use a variable queue for my queue, but I'm gonna create not a new linked list because I want a different behavior. Even though it has all the same methods, um, I want the behavior of a priority queue. So I'm gonna make a new priority queue. A priority queue is a different class, it's not a linked list, so it has a different implementation, but it still implements the queue interface, so I can still call add, remove, peak, size, all that type of stuff. All right, let's uh, create your to-do list for today after school. So we're gonna make, a, we're gonna make a, we're gonna add to our queue, we're gonna make a new work order. The first priority is gonna be three, priority three, and our description of our thing will be you have to water the plants. That's really important. That's not that important. Like, if it doesn't happen today, they're not going to die. But you do need to water them at some point. All right. What else are you all doing? Um, we'll, yeah, we'll get to homework. Um, but we also have to make dinner. Dinner is pretty important. Dinner will be priority too. More important than watering the plants is that you make dinner and eat. Um, other important things. Let's walk the dog. A four? No, it's not. I know what happens if you don't walk the dog. That's not pretty. All right. We're going to make that a priority to you as well. Um, you can have item elements in your priority queue with the same priority, right? They're just going to come out in some like random order. Um, what else do we need to do? Ooh, that would be good too. What's our priority for showering? Zero. Five, negative five. I'll make it a three. Shower. Good call. Okay. Um, how about playing video games? What's the priority of playing video games? Nine. I agree. It is a nine. Excellent. Play video games. All right. Oh, I know something else. This will be for tomorrow, not for today. But priority one for tomorrow is going to be to take the chapter 15 practice quiz. Okay? I'll open that up for you tomorrow. Really important to practice. All right. Um, I'm missing a whole bunch of parentheses. Parenthesis, parenthesis, parenthesis. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so we we can do the same thing. We can do the whole while q.size is greater than zero. You're just going to keep like working through things. So we'll just say system.out.println q.remove. It's going to remove each element one at a time. All right, again, before you click run, but after you finish typing, predict what will be the order that these tasks are printed out in. Which one comes first, second, third, so on and so forth. Including maybe you don't know exactly what the order is, right? That's an okay answer too. 